Hello everyone, I am Nitej. Today we are going to dive into a topic that is not only fundamental to JavaScript but also incredibly important for front-end developer interviews. The topic is event loop and the callback queue. Understanding these concepts is key to mastering asynchronous JavaScript, a skill often tested in technical interviews. So let's get started and unravel these concepts together. To understand the event loop and callback queue, it is essential to first grasp the JavaScript runtime environment. JavaScript, particularly in web browsers, typically runs in a single threaded environment within the V8 engine in Chrome or other JavaScript engines in different browsers. This environment includes heap for memory allocation of objects and the call stack where the JavaScript code is executed one frame at a time. The synchronous code executes line by line where each line must complete before the next line is run whereas the asynchronous code or async code in short allows for operations like input output, HTTP requests and timers to run in the background. So what is event loop? Event loop is a mechanism that enables async JavaScript code to be executed after the call stack is clear of any initial or ongoing synchronous tasks. It works in the following steps. First, there is the initial execution of synchronous code on the call stack. Then, when any async operation is encountered, such as timeout or AJAX calls or maybe event listeners, then it's handed over to the web APIs which are part of the browser. Once the async operation is completed, the callback function is moved to the callback queue, which is also known as the task queue or the message queue. So what is the event loop's role over here? The event loop constantly checks if the call stack is empty or not. Once the call stack is clear, the event loop moves the first item from the callback queue to the call stack. And then finally, the callback now executes as part of the call stack. The callback queue holds the callbacks from async operations that are waiting to be executed. It follows a first in first out principle. Also as already mentioned, these callbacks are only moved to the call stack only when it is empty. Now there are some common misconceptions when it comes to JavaScript's async nature and also the event loops. The first one is that JavaScript is asynchronous. So only a part of JavaScript is asynchronous. The language itself is synchronous and single threaded. Then there is the misconception that event loop is part of JavaScript. Well, the event loop is not actually part of JavaScript itself, but of the environment where the language is running, like the browser or Node.js. All right, so enough theoretical part. In order to quickly understand the role of event loop along with call stack, web APIs and callback queue, Let's consider a very simple example. So this is the initial state of this code execution where the code has not yet started to run. The call stack is empty. There is nothing in web APIs and callback queue as well. First, the console.log start is moved to the call stack to be executed. When the console.log start has executed, then the call stack is empty again. In the next step, set timeout is moved to the call stack now because set timeout is an async operation it is moved to the browser's web apis which start the two second timer for the set timeout after set timeout the console.log end is moved to the call stack for execution remember set timeout is still with the web apis while the two second timer is running the call stack is empty again after console.log end has executed printing end to the console. Now when the set timeouts two second timer has ended, then the code which is encapsulated in the callback function of set timeout is now moved to the callback queue. Now after this step, the event loop will check if the call stack is empty or not. So event loop has checked and found that the call stack was empty. So it moved console.log timer done from callback queue to call stack and after that the console.log timer done also executes and this marks the end of this entire code execution. The event loop and callback queue are fundamental to understanding how JavaScript handles 
asynchronous operations. They allow JavaScript to perform non-blocking operations efficiently and are at the heart of JavaScript's concurrency model. Being familiar with these concepts is crucial for any JavaScript developer, particularly when dealing with async programming. I hope this video has made these concepts clear and interview ready for you. If you found this helpful, then please consider subscribing for more insights and tips. Your support is greatly appreciated and it helps me continue to bring valuable content to you guys. Thanks for watching and good luck with your front end journey.